Good day folks, this is a tutorial on how to update the gimbal for version 3.2. The firmware update is supposed to fix the jittering in the PWM configuration as well as to make it compatible with the latest firmware on the head tracking module inside the goggles L. Let's get started. So you begin by downloading the firmware at the Cadex FPV website. Scroll through the menu and look for the firmware download for the GM gimbal. So here you will see the firmware 3.2. Download the file and extract it to your preferred destination folder. Once you have extracted the file, you will see the subfolders and files inside the zip file. You can see the gimbal config folder, um, upgrade driver folder, as well as some stuff like the readme. Which says that you have to update everything else, including the Nagas, of course, and the VTX. And here's the little guide on how you will be connecting the gimbal to your uh, programming device. If you use this type of gimbal, you have to follow the pinout ground RX and TX. Uh, this is for the GM3, this is for the GM2, and this is for the GM1. You see that the pinout for the GM1 is reversed with the ground pin on the bottom side. And now they have here the firmware, the version 3.2 file. Uh, this is the change lag. Uh, I think this is in Chinese, you have to translate it later. Let's run the gimbal config.exe file. Uh, make sure to approve some permissions on your computer if it's blocking the publisher. So the interface is in Chinese. Uh, don't worry, you can still get around this one by just clicking on the top left button. And this is the language change to English mode. Okay, so now every time that you run the software, it will run in uh, English. Okay, let's run it again. Okay, you see now that it's still in English format or in English language rather. So updating the gimbal does not take much long time. You just need your USB to TTL or TDI module like this one. Or this is the FTDI uh, programming module and under the one that I used for uh, configuring controllers and other serial devices so based on the diagram before you just need to connect the gimbals tx and rx and ground to the um, programming module so i have a gm3 here so i need to access this Part on this side, this is the update part. You can see this one. This is the update part. This is where the three pin GSTSH connector goes. So the ground is on the topmost pin. Then I have the RX. This, the RX, this is the blue wire, and TX is the yellow wire. Okay. So I'll be using this USB to TTL and just plug the ground, TX, and RX. RX and TX uh, connectors on these um, JSTSH custom connector, right? So to update the gimbal, you just need to connect this one, but you have to provide power to the gimbal um, externally. So it can be your flight controller, and for this case, I'll be plugging it to my uh, aircrafts. Travel back 
So this gimbal will be powered when I plug the LiPo. Okay, so let's power up the gimbal. Okay, so now you can see that the gimbal is on FTV mode again. Then connect the USB to TTL module on the other computer's USB port. Okay, so let's restart the software. Okay. So it's important that you select the correct communication port on your computer to ensure that the um, gimbal gets connected. Okay, so click on open port. It should give you the interface that has a real-time uh, sensor data regarding accelerometer and gyro. Okay. So it also says parameter download okay, stating that the gimbal is properly connected. Now, uh, currently my version is already on 3.2, but just to give you a demonstration on how to update the firmware, click on the open firmware button and go to your folder where you downloaded the firmware for the gimbal and click on start upgrade. So when you start the upgrade, it will just enter in the update upgrading mode and in the status bar you see this green progress bar uh that says the or that tells you about how much or the percentage of the update good is proceeding it should not take you uh a quite a long time to upgrade you just need to wait for a couple of seconds and that's it status says firmware upgrade okay so now this firmware or the version 3 point of firmware is uploaded to the gimbal. Just disconnect the USB to TTL module as well as your GSTSH connector. And you may disconnect the power from your gimbal. So I guess that's it folks. Thank you for watching.